Hello and welcome to a short video showing you what the Behringer BCR2000 can do in combination with the Knobroom plugin in Lightroom. This is a very problematic image shot at an event in Helsinki this October. As you can see, the lighting in this room was very challenging. Uh, it was lit up with some uh, theater lights that were gelled red, as well as a couple of purple LED uh, lights, which actually look blue in this image. So this shot is straight out of the camera with no corrections done. Normally I wouldn't really use images like this because it would take too much time to correct them to make them look usable. As, as this image is, it is totally unusable and moving the white blends around it's not really possible to fix it. The only way to fix it is to do some massive color changes either in Photoshop or here in Lightroom. And normally when I shoot events I have a really short turnaround time of around 24 to 48 hours so I wouldn't really have the time to go that in depth and start to mix around in all of the images separately because I have to keep all the images looking like they belong to the same set as well. And now I have all of these sliders here bound to different uh, knobs on my Behringer and that allows me to easily move each slider up and down here for example exposure up and down without and I can also easily center it because the Behringer has a control screen which shows me the position of what the knobs is at. Here's just me showing you how quickly you can move different sliders around up and down here I'm moving the tune curve sliders and also now I'm just centering them Okay, now to do some actual corrections. The first thing I usually do is jump the blacks down to zero because I don't like how the black sh slider usually blocks my shadows. It doesn't really look pretty. I prefer to use tone curves for that. Now, in order to create this image, I'm gonna use the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders. And the first thing that I'm going to do is drag the red and the orange saturation down just a bit, as well as the drag luminance down in the red and the orange colors as well, just a little bit. Gonna push the hue towards yellow and towards orange just to get the image to have more of a yellow tint than a red tint because I can correct a yellow tint by dragging the white blends to more colder color. And now that I'm dragging it color I notice that the image is getting a magenta cast and I'm going to fix this by dragging the tint a bit towards green and um, it should fix that right up. Yeah, that one also looks a lot better. This image still isn't really that great, so I'm gonna do a bit of tone curving. I'm gonna drag my blacks down a bit to get the light a bit more high contrast look. I'm gonna drag my highlights down just a bit. And I'm gonna put some fill light in here to bump up the shadows. And I'm gonna drag down my exposure just to compensate for that change. I'm gonna put some saturation down a bit just to get the colors down. I'm gonna bring my vibrance up again so that you can get better colors a bit better. There we go. And now this image is pretty much done. There's not really that much more I have to do. A bit of could do a bit more tune curse adjustments and of course some noise reduction and sharpening before I export this photo but if I activate the before and after down here, we should be able to see how much of a difference these corrections have made from the default image that I imported. As you can see, the change is quite massive from a totally red image to an uh, almost normal looking one. If we drag here between the two versions, you can see how much of a difference this has done. Now, I would never ever normally have uh, been able to do this correction this quickly with just using the mouse and keyboard simply because there's just too many sliders to move up and down to get the effect looking like this but with the Behringer I can easily move all the sliders in the hue and the saturation and the luminous up and down until I get the look that I want. And that's it for this video I hope you got some kind of sense of what this tool can do for you and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.